we want to find the antiderivative of arc sine x raised to the second divided by the square root of the quantity one minus x squared with respect to x. This looks rather messy, but if we recognize that the derivative of arc sine x is equal to one divided by the square root of the quantity one minus x squared, this works out very nicely with u substitution. To help recognize this, let's rewrite this as the integral of arc sine x to the second times one over the square root of one minus x squared dx. Again, now if we let u equal arc sine x, then differential u would be equal to the derivative of arc sine x times dx, which is one divided by the square root of one minus x squared dx. So notice how this is u, and all of this is equal to du. So if we write this in terms of u, we'd have the integral of u to the second, and then just du. So this would be equal to u to the third, divided by three plus c, but of course our goal is to find the antiderivative in terms of x, not u. So now we'll substitute arc sine x for u to find the antiderivative in terms of x. So we would have arc sine x cubed divided by three, or one-third, arc sine x to the third plus c. This would be our antiderivative function, which means the derivative of this function is equal to the integrand function arc sine x raised to the second divided by the square root of the quantity one minus x squared. I hope you found this helpful.